I have mentioned assets a few times throughout this video series, and in this video I'm going to tell you what assets are, how to split them up, and why they build you wealth during your 365 days to success. Let's make a right left. Sure. Do you have what it takes to make a right left to you? What's up, good people? I'm Thomas J. Beleza, and welcome to my video. If this is your first time to my channel, and you want to learn how to succeed in entertainment, well then, subscribe by hitting the bell icon so you don't miss out. There are eight assets in life you can invest in. Stocks, bonds, mutual funds, intellectual properties, real estate, businesses, IOUs, and of course, commodities. Some people might say, hey, but I own a house. That's like an asset, right? If it costs you to have, then it is not an asset. The major difference between an asset and a liability is an asset will generate you wealth, whereas the liability will cost you money to maintain. As an actor or somebody in entertainment, when you work for free, you are turning yourself and your business into a liability. But if you invest your time and start generating some sort of income or wealth within your field of interests, then you are creating value and thus become an asset. In that list of eight assets that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, it is always important to look at them as two separate columns. Your first column would be considered your two to five years, which is all about small investments towards, say, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and of course, intellectual properties. This is more or less you're building a foundation in investing and also creating eventual long dollar outcomes. The second column is titled six to 10 years. And within your career at this point, you should be trying to develop long term investments and larger asset development. And these would include real estate, businesses, IOUs, and commodities. It helps you stay underwhelmed and learn how to invest properly by separating these eight assets into two columns. So you can focus on small investments that eventually create long dollar. And then when the time is right, you can start investing into large investments that create a bigger return. Assets create passive income, which generates wealth. Wealth is the amount of time you can go without having to recoup income. Recouping is those trading their time for cash. Whereas wealth is trading cash for time. In later videos, I will talk about how investing your time will generate cash at a greater value based on your personal work, mostly because the majority of people will add hours to make money instead of finding ways to add value to their time. Assets generate wealth because they are interest bearing and working 24 hours a day. This is done so you can open doors to do the things you love, like acting, so you can do it because you want to, not because you have to. Helpful Research, research, research. I can never stress the importance of knowing how, when, where, with, and why to invest. Because your first 365 days to success includes learning and understanding how assets generate wealth. That includes understanding the value of each asset at its core. And I'm not saying you need to be an expert on investing or assets or how wealth works, but you have to understand the baseline of what you're doing or getting involved in during your foundation year. And consequently, the first 365 days to success, your studies should be preparing you to understand the values of assets and how to invest to generate. So when you are ready to invest, you can take advantage of your wealth growth. Thank you for watching this video and supporting these traveling adventures of a Brazilian entertainer. <laughs> Please like, comment, and share the video along with subscribing. 
for future content. You have questions? Let me know in the comments below. And as always, don't work too hard, but be productive. And remember to look at the people around you so you can work together, grow together, and rise together. Do you have what it takes to make a right left here? Do you, punk? Oh dear.